Hey there survivors, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, official PvP. Now in this episode, as you can see, I take the Parasaur out to look for players and tames. I find a little raid target, which I actually end up botching. It just had a bit too many turrets and uh, it's been ages since I've raided and run turrets and because I had mainly primitive flak, etc. You'll see what happens anyway. <laughs> Also, next episode is going to be me starting out solo on small tribes. There's better rates on there, more players, isn't just run by mega tribes mainly, and hopefully should have a good time on there. I'll still be maintaining these bases as well, and probably doing more on the regular official servers, but we'll see how into small tribes I get. On that note, let's just get into the episode. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the end. Hmm... Well, this server seems pretty damn empty. Well, especially over this floating islands area, anyway. Haven't detected one thing yet. Ooh. And just as I say that... Looks like a wooden gate. Alright, let's check this out. It's a cheeky little spot by the looks of it anyway. No, my parasaur! God damn it. <laughs> Alright, he shouldn't fall off there. Yeah, he's fine. Alright, what we got? Oh, we do have turrets. God, what a weird base. Like, wooden dinosaur gate. Hmm. Well, generator looks exposed. I'm wondering if I could, like, flame arrow the generator, maybe? Huh. Okay, I might go and get my trike, or I might just tame up a bit of a better trike. Because mine's only a little low-level berry collector. Oh, come on. Yeah, and we'll break down the gate and uh, check it out. Alright, let's get this level 90 trike here. Should be alright. It's only one times on these servers, so I don't want to wait too long. <laughs> ah, Burley's down. Alright. Hopefully he'll be alright. Ah, is that sulfur? Sulfur! Oh, oh, we got loads of sulfur here. Nice. Stay still. Right, we can get some flame arrows on the go. Well, I just mined until my pickaxe broke, and uh, wow, got plenty of sulfur. Right, that should be enough narcs for you. And let's go and make some flame arrows, and then I'll come back when you are done. Lovely. Well, if I can reach the generator. That little cave looks quite tight on the entrance. We'll see. And level 126 trike. Well, nearly 2k health. Meh, that's well, better than nothing. Better than my other one. I'm really hoping that uh, most of the turrets are set to players only, because then I can just send the Arthro in there. Ooh, extra C4 and a leg piece. Nice. I bought a couple of C4 just in case... Uh, I end up finding an opportunity to run in, but we'll see. I'm in terrible armour and that base has got quite a lot of turrets. Right, let's get a sleeping bag down, or let's get a few down. <laughs> okay, so this is going to depend on what the turrets are on, but i got my RG and my trike and my Arthro, and I'm going to use the trike to break down the gate, and then we'll see what the turrets are on. And then I guess we'll take it from there. Alright, dumped all my stuff on the wyvern. Just in case, because it looks a bit of a weird angle to go into that tunnel, so... I don't know how easy the turrets are going to hit me or not. I 
nothing shooting yet. There is a few ground turrets. They should shoot through that hole. Here we go. Let's just start draining a couple of these. See how they feel like they're looking for bullets. Oh god, his health has just been eaten with a primitive saddle. <laughs> It's a shame I don't have any other good saddles for anything yet, apart from a frog. But yeah, I'm going to use a frog for this, aren't I? <laughs> right, let's just tank these a little bit anyway until his health's pretty low. God, this is shredding me. There's quite a few turrets in there as well. I don't have to back him out now. I'm not going to be able to get him out otherwise. <laughs> Flipping heck, such an awkward angle. Alright. Let's uh, just see if those turrets are on players. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Flipping heck, this shield would get shredded. God, you really do need a good shield to run turrets. Right, so I don't think I'm running them today. Um, I think I might just whistle the trike in to break the gate, and then I can see what turrets are on players only. Right, trike should be far enough forward there to listen to my whistle. And we're just going to basically send him in charging. <laughs> He's going to be our little war hero. There we are. Oh, why ain't it whistling? Come on. Oh, I think it might be a bit too far away or something. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it was just too far away. Come on, Trikey. Break down that gate. Wow, he's uh, not doing that much damage. Okay, I guess we'll go and wait a couple of minutes while he does this. <laughs> well, no turrets have been shooting him by the looks of it, so uh, I might be able to just send the Arthropura in there and destroy all the turrets. Connie's nearly in. There we go. Oh, and he's being shot now. What? Is that really only one turret that's shooting him? There's no point in that anyway, really. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. I can't believe it's only one turret. I could probably send the Arthur to destroy the turret. He's got more health than the trike. Right, well, by the looks of it, I don't think I'm going to get a line of sight to the generator like I thought. That entrance is much tighter than it looked. Well, there's just too much foliage just to the left of me, and it doesn't look like I can get the angle to flame anything, so that's unfortunate. Right, let's get you out, Arthur. But, yeah, he's got like, well, just over 2.5k health at the moment with healing, so that's... Still, the trike only had 2k health, so I'm hoping that he can break the turret before the turret even kills him. Let's check him in group 9. I used to like putting my raid dinos on group 9, because then when you're whistling everything... I don't know, I would advise using tame groups if there's certain groups of dinos that you whistle a lot. Just makes it a lot easier so you don't accidentally whistle all. Yeah, let's pump his melee. Break that turret quick as possible. Alright, you get in position. That should be far enough forward, I'm hoping. Come on, whistle work. There we go. Go on, Arthur. Oh no. Oh, he's stuck on the entrance. Damn it. Right, come on. There we go. Right. <laughs> 
Come on. Attack whistle isn't working. What about move two? Right, managed to get that to work. Should be fine, because uh, he's on attack this target anyway. Oh my god. How did he die so quickly? What? How the hell did he die so quickly? He had nearly 3,000 health. Might have been headshot multiplier, but still, I thought it was only the one turret shooting. Ah. Well, that's just put a bit of a spanner in the works. Right, I'm going to try and see if I can hit anything in there with the flame arrow. But I'm pretty sure the electrical outlet that's connected to the turrets is under the metal ramp. And I can't... I can only I can only spy glass like the corner of the wall with the generator on it, so I, it's not even worth going for the generator because I need height above it for it to drop. But if the outlet was free... Oh, I don't know, you can't even go orbit cam quick when you take a shot when you're in single... when you're in a... Yeah, yeah when you're solo. Oh, that's so hard. Right, well this trike's healed up, so I'm just going to drain the turrets as much as I can with this trike. And the turrets are shooting a lot more out this way now as well. <laughs> Let's just see if we can empty one of these turrets, because then we can see how much ammo they've probably got. Now he's getting a bit low, let's pull him back. I nearly totally forgot about this 135 I knocked out. I nearly woke up, but uh, yeah, he's not far off tame now. Right, 186. And god, only two and a quarter thousand health. That doesn't seem very good. Oh, I wish I got a female, because this one's a male as well. I could have done with a mate boost in this situation. But, oh well. I've got to get to bed soon as well, because I just realised it's 5am and I've got work tomorrow. So uh, I'm just going to soak some turrets and then sleep for a bit and then hopefully finish the raid before I go to work tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> I don't think any turrets have emptied yet anyway. So I think these turrets are pretty well stocked with ammo. Let's get out of here, he's getting a bit low. Especially with multiple shoot me at the same time. <laughs> God, they are well stocked. I came down this lower angle to try and get this one turret empty at least, but flipping heck, it's just going and going and going. I know it doesn't help I got low level trikes, but I was only hoping that they were going to have like 50 bullets in each turret or something. <laughs> Alright, swap trikes again. Oh my gosh, you've hardly healed at all. Alright, let's just try and uh, soak as much as possible. And wow, it's dark. Gamma up. But yeah, let's just hope these guys don't get on by the time uh, I get up in the morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> you see, that's how easy I would bloody die if I tried running it. I wouldn't even have a chance. Flippin' heck. I need some better armour and stuff. <laughs> and some better trikes. Alright. Let's wrap it up there for now anyway. I've sucked about as much as I can. And uh, let's just hope those guys don't get on by the time I get back on in the morning. I've literally set my alarm for six hours from now, so I won't have that much sleep, but I'm hoping to get into that base first thing in the morning. <laughs> right, well, looks like there's some still some stuff in there. Oh, God damn it, they've been on. They've taken all the turrets down. Oh. Let's just go and see what's in here anyway. I doubt they've left anything now. No, nope, empty. Oh, that's such a shame. 
If only I didn't rush into raiding it last night. I should have just tamed up a couple of trikes, leveled them up a bit, and then come and done it this morning, really. Because if I just raided this place this morning, they wouldn't have known what hit them. But, oh well. And yeah, their little jenny set up in the corner, I definitely wouldn't have been able to flame anything from outside. But yeah, and the outlet was under the ramp, like I thought. But, damn. Come on, come on, what we got, what we got? Ooh. Cool. I could do with a chainsaw and a uh, flamethrower blueprint. So that is groovy. 140. Yeah, after last night I couldn't resist. I had to get like a mid-level uh, female trike, so I got the mate boost just in case there's another base that I saw with turrets that I wanted to raid. But still, they're not the best strikes, and I'm still only on primitive saddles. <laughs> Alright, survivors, I'm going to wrap up the episode there anyway. So just popping back to extinction now with my character, just to check on my base and make sure it's all alright. And it is so far. Nobody's been killed by my turrets, and they haven't lost any bullets, so looking like an alright base location. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Please drop a like if you did, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Peace.